We just received an urgent message from Ol' Ray. The fleet we sent to investigate World's Eye is under attack. Who would be attacking us now? Windor? No, sir. Apparently it's a group of monsters based on the island itself. What? What's the current status of the fleet? They've sustained heavy damage, sir, and we're forced to retreat back to the harbor. I will see them at once. I'd like to hear their story for myself. We should get back to Ol' Ray as well. Okay, with that being said, we gotta go <coughs> back to Ol' Ray. Oh, man. This is kind of concerning, isn't it? Because we gotta go back all the way back to Windor, too. And then everything else we can do on our spare time because this is more of a leisure roll thing. So, how are people doing so far in the. What the? What? Oh, no, Ol' Ray is um, the other way. Dang it. The capital was easy. No, easy was always this one. Oh, uh, gee, sorry, I might be forgetting stuff. Also, I'm listening to something that should be turned off. Ah, don't run that way. Run this way. So I hope people are really excited for the end game, like I am. But eh, maybe it's just me because I am so excited because we got to move to the next Tales game, and I really do hope people <coughs> enjoy the next one I'm going to be doing. People might not, it might have mixed feelings too, because, um, it's one of the, uh, games that I gave crap for a while ago, because, you know, certain things. Maybe just me being a little spoiled brat and not realizing certain things. But, either way, it's gonna be a fantastic game, I shouldn't talk it up as much as I should, or I'm doing. It's also raining outside, so if you hear people hear pitter-patter, that's because it's raining. Why am I still up in, uh, in high energy? Because I really got nothing better to do, and we're getting to the best part of this bloody game. Which, sadly enough, is the end game. People might go like, oh, for me it's this part, but for me it's really the end game, because this is where stuff comes tying together. So, is there any new quests in the end? Probably not. Most likely not. <coughs> nope. So let's hurry up to the port, which is, thank god, located in the town. But yeah. Is oh, my window oh, open? No, it's not. It's also drizzling really heavily. Are the reports of monsters originating from World's Eye true? Yes, sir. The moment we approached, they just came pouring out of that huge cocoon thing. We tried to stand and fight, but we were terribly outnumbered. To stay would have meant the loss of the fleet, and so the order was given to fall back. Even now, the monsters continue to spread across the seas. We've had numerous reports of attacks on civilian vessels. We should restrict sea travel at once. Perhaps this is part of King Richard's plan, and he thinks to conquer the world with a fantastic army of monsters. No, this can't be. Attend to the wounded, and get me estimates on the damage. Then gather every man who can wield iron and get them on ship. We must not let these monsters reach land. Sir, yes sir. It seems sailing to land is out of the question. This isn't good. We don't have time to spare. Not to worry. I'll see that one of our ships gets you to your destination. Thank you, Mr. President. Come see me when you're ready to leave. And... I would like to run back to other towns and stuff, but don't worry, we're not missing a whole lot, whatever you remember. So let's just hurry up and get to Windor, because we are going to have quite the issue dealing with these monsters. And yes, they are all Nova-based. So get your Nova uh, tactics out and ready. Or, or if you can do enough damage to them in a, a very fast rate, don't worry about it. But I would still recommend having at least one Nova-based attack on uh, hand. But, ee, this is practically, <coughs> practically around end game. If not, <coughs> excuse me, if not, this is like extreme end game. So, Southern Val, oh wait, oh, we gotta travel to Windor then, great. Uh-huh. What the heck? Hang in there, Sophie. 
I'm okay. Hey, do you really think that Fodra Place could exist on the other side of the sky? It certainly does sound like a fool's errand. And yet it's an errand we have no choice but to undertake. The ancient Amorcians totally knew this day would come. That's why they left a method for us to reach Fodra. Yeah. When you say that, it almost feels possible. Like it's our destiny. Yeah, I agree. All we can do at this point is just believe in ourselves and move forward. We can't afford to sit around and do nothing. So just hang in there, Sophie. I know you'll be okay. <coughs> I hope you don't mind me if I change my camera stuff during the middle of the recording. But, you know, I realize it's not really the best octave and stuff, and, you know, <coughs> I could <coughs> totally make it so you guys could see what's going on. So, if it's not going to block me, I want to go back to see Nova-based monsters. Well, you might as well fight them on the way, so we got the general feel for Nova-based enemies. Okay, All of them are going to be classified as unknown, unknown, unknown. But they are fiend, and they are Nova-based. So, once again, get used to seeing uh, enemies like this, but also look at the level difference. 42! It is ridiculously how sh ridiculous how strong some of them are. So do not take these ones lightly, but yet again, still try to get enough done. I don't know what I'm trying to talk about, actually. Oh, and Mal got his uh, final thing up for this. Oh, we got a heal. Aswell got his armor temperance uh, tempered with. So let's move Malik off his little job, which ooh wow, that's really good. <coughs> and yeah, let's put on Cluster Rain Master because I don't really see anything else to put him on. Also, did Pascal get hers? No, she did not. Okay, that's good. Also, I didn't want to run into you. Nope, Malik, you're still pretty cool. Um, woo, Hubert's getting some stuff. <coughs> if you're probably thinking, like, why do you switch Pascal and Pascal for a Sharia? Uh, mostly because, you know, we don't really need Pascal for the current moment. And also, we got a new type of the uh, Nova monsters. The floating eyeballs. I don't remember what exactly you should use against them, but once again, no enemies don't take them lightly. Your skills are quite impressive. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Oh, and Dragon Charge was upgraded. That's nice. That's also really nice for me. So we gotta head to Seaside Cavern, but I'm pretty sure it's not locked at this point. We can head back to Windor if we need to, or Ballandor. Got some seeds. <coughs> Excuse me, got a cough. Also, treasure chest that we haven't got. Ooh, sea scale crystal. That's not weird at all. Okay. <laughs> but moving on. Um, Pascal is kind of cool. I admit I gave her a lot of crap, like, to my friends and stuff. But overall, I think she's a really cool character. It's just, eh. I'm not Mr. All Down for the happy-go-lucky kind of characters. But, eh, overall, she's nice. So, let's just cross the border. And then, let's see if we go back to Lawn. If we can, I will. But, <coughs> if we can't, we obviously can't. So, cutscene. Cutscene! Asbel, Lord Hubert, what were you doing in Fendel? We had heard you set off for Spada. I don't see any Fendel soldiers here. That's because they're gone. Just up and vanished one day without a trace. We figured they were up to something, so everyone's been on edge. The situation has changed. Our countries can't afford to fight each other right now. The three Valkanists have been completely drained of LF. Our countries have come together in an attempt to resolve the crisis. Please, you must let us pass. Yes, of course. And with that, we have access to the entire freaking world. Nothing's gonna stop us, but <coughs> I wanna get the side quests done and out of the way. So, we'll get ready for side